How's it going guys, Zab here, and today we're going to be going to my home country, Canada. We're going to go fishing in White Moose Lake in Alberta, and now this setup here is what I like to use. We're going to be using a Bottom Sniper 360, which is the first Bottom Sniper you unlock. It's got a line weight of 16 kilograms. We're going to be using the Thunderspin 4500. Uh, we're going to be using a 4-0 hook, spawn sack, we've got a sinker, and we got a fluorocarbon leader on there. Now, if you guys have a heavier setup... Uh, I also use the, the Heavy Chaser 310, which is the, the highest level bottom rod. You can use that if you'd like. Um, if you guys are looking for a lower level setup, the bottom sniper 360 will definitely, definitely work. Now, you can use 3-0 hooks, 4-0 hooks. It just depends on what you guys want to do. I'm going to be using Spawn Sack. If you don't have Spawn Sack, Shiners, Large Minnows will work. For a lure setup, I'm going to be using the Rivertech Zeus 250. This is a 19.5 kilograms uh, spinning rod here going to be using a 21 gram narrow spoon 3-0 hook now you can use a little bit of different stuff here if you guys go into the fish species here and go look at the lake trout they like shads grubs crankbaits so whatever you guys want to use uh, feel free to go ahead i also do have a medium spoon here that i could use it really just depends on what you guys want to try but if you have four of these bottom rod setups here you're going to absolutely just get tons and tons of fish good xp on these a little bit worse xp obviously on the heavier rods but uh, you will pull in the uniques a little faster so it's up to you guys what you want to do but if you are looking for a lower level setup this bottom sniper is absolutely amazing make sure you guys have a half decent keep net here because they do get pretty decent size here if we just go to fish go to location go to white moose here you can see the unique lake trout get up to about 21 kilograms so that's pretty decent sized fish guys very very nice catch and you will get a decent amount of XP, especially on a 16 kilogram setup. You'll get a decent amount of XP for them. But if you're looking for a higher level setup, there you go. That's what I use personally. I just didn't want to have to buy four of the bottom rods just for the video. But I had two in my inventory, so there you go. Anyways, head to White Moose Lake here. Make sure to grab an advanced license. And I'll show you guys the spot where to catch these. All right, guys, when you spawn into White Moose Lake here, there's going to be a few different types of days here. Now, you can catch them during the day and at night. It doesn't really matter when. Just fish the peak times for these fish. And all you're going to do is come down to the, the boat or the dock spawn here. You can also come down here and fish from here. It's really up to you guys. But I just find it a little bit easier to just fish from the other spot. So just go to the dock spot. We're going to come out here. Right to the dock here, and you can see I got some markers out there. Now, I will show you guys quickly on the map what they, what position they're exactly in. So, they're just kind of out here in the middle of the water here. You can see their unique lake trout, and then there's also a trophy lake trout. Uh, now, they're about 60 to 66 meters out. I will throw a conversion up for you guys, but I just wanted to show you guys exactly what I'm doing here. Uh, let's pull out, uh, yeah, the, that bottom rod will work. We're just going to cast out to that first marker there. There we go. Up the uh, speed there. So that one's at about 70 meters. Again, it's in that area between 60, 70 meters. It really, it doesn't really matter. But if you guys are looking for specifics, it's just around there. I will throw the conversions up. But you can kind of just cast in this general direction over here. Create your own markers if you'd like. And you will be able to catch... Some trophy lake trout here and some unique lake trout. Now, it kind of depends. Uh, you will get some some burbot. You will get some salmon. You will get some other fish too. But with the 4-0 hook sizes, you're going to keep your... Uh, you're going to get the bite rates of bigger fish for sure. Definitely, you're not going to get a bunch of small fish. You will get some, but you guys know how it is now. It just... If you're farming for the uniques, it's going to take a little bit. You got to get lucky. But here we go. We got one on already. Let's see if we can pull in... A unique here or at least a trophy lake trout right out of the out of the gate here that would be absolutely perfect just to show you guys that it does work and the rates here are actually pretty crazy guys if you guys are looking for some fast-paced fishing this is definitely gonna be something you're gonna enjoy uh, make sure you have a balance set up here too it's definitely gonna be harder to bring in some of these fish with these uh these bottom snipers than it is with the heavy chasers but honestly uh, just go with it with whatever you guys have if you want to use a float setup you can mess around with the depths too. just put them pretty deep and you should be all right and if you want to use a lure just cast in the same spot and you'll be okay let's see what we get here though when we bring this bad boy in maybe we can get both on here looks like it's a decent size though fighting fighting pretty well and again guys you can use barbless hooks you can use barbed hooks it really just depends on what you guys want to do 
you want to go for more XP, definitely use some barbless hooks. And you'll be able to improve your setup here. Let's try and bring this bad boy in here a little bit quicker. Walk over to the other side of the dock here. This is a pretty decent sized fish though. You gotta remember we got like 16 kilogram test on. Let's see what we get. And there we go. First cast, we get a trophy lake trout. 10 kilograms, 435 XP, $1,600. Not bad at all. Obviously, the real money is going to be made on the uniques. Uh, but you still get half decent XP with these bottom sniper rods for the trophies. Uh, we'll go ahead and I'll farm for a unique here for a little bit, guys. Uh, hopefully, I can get one on the bottom sniper. And if not, uh, I'll show you guys the heavy chaser as well. All right, guys, here you go. We got a unique lake trout here on the bottom sniper. So you can see here, 1,059 XP, $3,100. You catch these fish at a really, really good rate here, guys. And a lot of people, they tell me they're very disappointed when they come to Alberta. And it can definitely be a little bit of a disappointment if you come here and you're trying to catch salmon and stuff and you just, you don't know the spot to really go after or what to go after. If you're going to come to Alberta, guys, you need to target the lake trout if you want to make money in XP. It's the only way you're going to make Alberta really, really worthwhile. And if you don't target them, you're really going to just end up being disappointed. This is what you're going to want to do, guys. Get some bottom rods. Come here a little bit later in the game, maybe. Uh, not when you first unlock it, but it, it can work if you're using um, some half-decent float rods and you're trying to target these uh, lake trout. Use a similar hook size if you're using float rods and you should be all right. Uh, you will catch some splake and other stuff like that, but you really got to target those uh, unique and trophy lake trout, and then you will definitely make some good cash here. But other than that, guys, there's not much to it. You can go out on a boat if you'd like. Uh, there, there are other areas to fish for lake trout. Uh, pretty much anywhere here you can, but this has been the spot I've had the best luck for sure. So just keep fishing here, guys, and you should make some money, get some decent amount of XP. All right, guys, for my spinning rod setup, I'm going to be using a medium spoon here, 28 grams and 4-0 hook sides. I'm just going to cast out to where we casted out the bottom rods. And I'm just going to use a twitching method. Now, you can use twitch or stop and go. It's really up to you guys. Whatever you want to do. You can use a little bit of both if you get bored of one. But basically, all I'm going to do is go to about 3 speed, I think, for this gram uh, size. Should be alright. And I'm just going to fish middle of the channel here. Uh, maybe middle lower of the channel here. And all you're going to do is just twitch like this or stop and go. And you will catch... Um, a few different types of fish. You should be able to get some unique lake trail like this. I'll fish here for a little bit. See if I can grab one. Uh, at least a trophy or a unique lake trout with the medium spoon here. Uh, they also like grubs and shads and stuff like that. So it really just depends on what you want to use. But I'll go and fish here for a little bit. See what I can get with uh, a spinning lure set up here. Another option guys is to just hop in your boat here if you do have one. Start up your engine and just head out to where you um, have those markers out there. You can just come out a little bit in front of those markers where we were casting out to and just cast into the back corner here and you should be able to get fish like that as well uh, it just makes it a little bit easier of course not everyone has a boat so if you don't just do it from the dock but if you do you might as well take advantage of it and same thing three speed twitch or go to stop and go it's really up to you guys what you want to do I'll try and grab a fish or two from here. All right, guys, as you can see, I caught a trophy lake trout here now. You can get uniques here. All I was doing, guys, was doing a twitching motion. I caught uh, another trophy on stop and go, but I was just casting a little bit past these markers and then just reeling in, and you guys should be able to catch it with uh, a lure as well. Uh, but the bottom rod way is definitely more effective. You're going to catch way more fish, and it's going to be a lot quicker. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the description, the links to my social media platforms and Discord where you can come hang out. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss a video. And also comment down below and I'll try to respond as best as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.